குருவே கோரச்சந்திராய ராதிகாய ததாலய கிருஷ்ணாய கிருஷ்ண பக்தாய தத் பக்தாய நமோ நம ஆராத்தியோ பகவான் பிரஜேஷாம பிருந்தாவன் ரம்யா காட்சி துப்பாசனம் பிரஜபது வர்கேன கல்பி ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதும் பிரமாணம் அமலம் பிரேமம் புமர்ப்போ மகா ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய மகா பிரபோர் மதம் இதம் தஸ்ராவன ஹரே கிருஷ்ண இட்ஸ் எ கிரேட் பிளேஷர் அண்ட் ஆனர் ஃபார் மீ டு கிவ் அன் அனதர் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஸ்பீக் ஆன் த க்ளோரிஸ் ஆஃப் புலினி சோ டூ டேஸ் பேக் வி வேர் டே பிஃபோர் எஸ்டர்டே வி வர் செலிப்ரேட்டிங் வித் அன்மாஸ்டமி அண்ட் எஸ்டர்டே ப்ரோபர் அப்பியரன்ஸ் டே நந்தோஸ் so the glories of uh, glories or the power of mantra japa has many inclinations for us towards bhakti so how can we understand that the power of mantra japa has been uh, increased in everyone in one's life we feel that we are chanting every day but uh, what effect it is giving on our life like krishna we know that he is the supreme personality of god now you may ask that where the evidence is given that krishna is the supreme personality because shastra describe <coughs> that how krishna is the supreme personality of god ek ek chakalam pumsham krishna stu bhagwan swayam indadi jadi nam lokam vijayanti yuvai and secondly scriptures also say that where the glories of holy name is also mentioned now here ek chakalam pumsham krishna stu bhagwan swayam the shastras are describing that out of all the demigods that are present krishna is the supreme personality of god it similarly when krishna is superior so his holy name is also superior நாம சிந்தாமணி கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய ரசவிகிரக பூர்ண சுத்தோ நித்திய முக்தோ அபிநத்துவ நாம நாமினே சோ ஹியர் சாஸ்திரஸ் ஆர் டிஸ்கிரைபிங் தட் நாம சிந்தாமணி கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய ரசவிகிரக பூர்ண சுத்தோ நித்திய முக்தோ அபிநத்துவ நாம நாமினே சோ ஹியர் நாம அண்ட் நாமினே த பர்சன் ஹூ த பர்சன் ஹூஸ் நேம் இஸ் தேர் அண்ட் த ஹோலி நேம் த போத் ஆர் நான் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஈச் அதர் so now the next question is that does does krishna have a material body or spiritual body so if abhinnatva naam namini is there that is only possible for a person who is having a spiritual body not for a person who is having material body so again shastras describe that why is the chanting of holy name is prominent for this yuga dharma only லைக் வென் எவர் வி சி தட் கலியுக யுக தர்ம ஹரிநாம் சங்கீர்த்தன் வை நாட் ஃபார் அதர் யுக ஸோ த கொஸ்டன் இஸ் நாட் தட் கி வெதர் த ஹோலி நேம் வாஸ் நாட் ப்ராமினெண்ட் ஃபார் த அதர் யுகாஸ் ஆல்சோ ஸோ யூ எனி ஒன் ஆஃப் அஸ் மே ஆஸ் தட் வை ஹோலி நேம் இஸ் ஓன்லி எம்பசைஸ்ட் டு பி சேன்டட் ஓன்லி இன் கலியுக வை நாட் இன் சத்யுக திருத்தயுக துவாபர் யுக where the devotees at that time or the people at time at that time were not prominent to go back to golok vrindavan so shastra say that there are many reasons out of which one reason was that the people's consciousness were so much higher that they all that they felt chanting hari krishna ma mantra as a insignificant thing they gave much prominent towards sacrifices or doing tapasya for example like doing tapasya under water but it's not possible to do that similar tapasya in this age of kali yuga why because the people in the age of sati yuga they had so much will power and consistency in them that they can resist themselves to stay for a longer period of time like people they were not 
incline, inclinated towards other material attachment. Like sometimes when we do fasting, similarly on Ekadashi day or any other festivals, we feel that our body morality goes down and we feel little bit weak. But for the people who were present in the Satyuga, for them, practicing these all sadhana and ritualistic activities was not a great thing. So if you ask them that they would say, Ki, yes, Prabhu, we have taken breakfast 200 years ago. Now we have so much resistance. Now we can do sadhana and bhakti tapasya for more than 200 and 500 years. Then we will think of taking the lunch prasad. And the secondly, what the Shastras are saying, that the people in the Sati Yuga were not such much desperate to go back to Golok Vrindavan. Why? Because now you are seeing the lifespan of a Sati Yuga person. It was more than around uh, thousands and lakhs of years. But when you compare it to Kali Yuga, it's a very short period of time. But now you may ask, Ki kya Prabhu, us ke log Bhagavad Gita nahi padte te kya? Why? क्योंकि कृष्णा तो भगवत गीता में बोले हैं दुखालम अशाश्वतम तो क्या उस समय दुखालम नहीं था कि अभी आया बट कृष्णा इज सेइंग इन भगवत गीता दुखालम अशाश्वतम सो वन में आस दैट व्हाई दुखालम अशाश्वतम इज ओनली एम्फसाइज नाउ व्हेन वी आर सेइंग इन कलयुगा दैट चैंटिंग इज द ओनली द प्रोसेस टू गो बैक टू गोलक वृंदावन was it not prominent in Treta Yoga, Dwapar Yoga, Sat Yoga? Like in Bhagavad Gita 10.25, Krishna is saying, Yajnanam Japa Yajnosmi. Out of performing all the sac sacrifices, doing the Japa is the greatest sacrifices. Now we were discussing about Sat Yoga. The prominent activity which the persons were doing in the Sat Yoga was performing sacrifices. So Krishna is saying that when you are comparing a person of Satyoga to Kali Yoga, yes, now I have said that chanting is the only process. To spread only this holy name, Krishna is coming himself as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he is spreading. So he is saying, out of performing all the sacrifices, doing the Japa is one of the greatest sacrifices. And the next question, what our Acharyas are saying, they are giving the example of a copper vessel and tamarind, tamarind water. So when we see that the copper vessels, when it's exposed to the outer atmosphere for a longer period of time, we find a dark circular spots and the dark regions are being formed on the body of the copper vessel. So we use the lemon water or tamarind water to clean that copper vessel. Now you may also observe to clean the entire copper vessel, we need to immerse the entire copper vessel inside the tamarind water. Either consciously or unconsciously, if you immerse that copper vessel only half submerged in the water, after some time you will observe that only the copper vessel is half cleaned not completely clean. So what our Acharyas are saying, ki if we are totally not submerged inside this consciousness of doing chanting or other activities like book reading or doing other sevas, then our heart and will be half clean. We will be only half cleaned by our anarthas. So completely clean ourselves, we need to submerge totally inside the water. Like we need to give our entire attention and focus towards the holy names. Like uh, two days back when uh, Sambadas Prabhu was giving the Bhagavatam class, he said that only with the Krishna's mercy we can chant the holy names. So every time now I feel that without mercy and Kripa of the devotees and other Vaishnavas, there is no will to do anything. Shastras are giving their own inclinations and proofs that where it is mentioned and how to chant oneself for the holy name for the Lord. But personally to 
imply to apply this in our life and to progress in the devotional service only two things can be done to trust on the shastras and to follow the process what our acharyas are saying and secondly to have faith on the lord that kripa is there the mercy is there to pray to the lord like amoglila prabhu always says in punjabi this kripa is known as karpa like jo karta hai wo pata hai jo nahi karta hai wo nahi pata so the another another evidence of uh, this mantra japa is given in this uh, mukund mala stotra of 16th shloka where king kulushekal arwal is saying he martya paramam hitam srumata vo vakshasine sankshepta samsaram apata urmi bahulam samyak pravishya stita ट्रांसलेशन इज गिवेन यर दट ओ मॉटल बींग फुल इन द ओशन ऑफ मेटीरियल एक्सिस्टेंस विच आर फिल्ड इन देश ऑफ मिस फॉर्चून प्लीज हियर एज आई से that how to attain your supreme benefit can be only done just put beside your various attempts at gaining knowledge and instead of being constant and instead begin constantly chanting the mantra om namo narayan going down to the lord so king kolishekal arwal is also saying here that please keep your all the attachments towards your material things beside and start chanting towards the holy name like kali shantra no upanishad also says that hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare iti sodashaka nam nam kali kalpa shanashanam nato partaro paya sarva vedeshu vishyate that all the vedic scriptures are also saying that there is no other way to go back to the golok vrindavan only by the chanting of full name of the lord we can go back to the golok now one may ask that कि प्रभु ये सब अभी क्यों बोल रहे हैं हमको पहले तो सत्योगी ये सब में तो कभी सुना नहीं था द ओनली थिंग वी कैन से दैट पीपल वेर सो मच अपलिफ्टेड इन देर कॉन्शियसनेस सो क्वालिटी ऑफ ए गुड चैंटर वी कैन ओनली अंडरस्टैंड दैट द प्योरिटी ही इज शोइंग हिमसेल्फ इन द कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ इंप्रूविंग इज इन चैंटिंग इज द ओनली द फर्स्ट क्वालिटी ए गुड चैंटर इज शोइंग consciousness level was such much uplifted for the persons who were in satyuga compared to kali yuga that the people were not much not much inclinated towards going back to golok vrindavan they felt that the uh, period of time which they had with them is sufficient to attain the krishna with them like we know that in the satyuga the episode of the narsimha avatar takes place where uh, hiranyakashipu is doing the tapasya for more than lakhs and thousands of years so now you may say that being a asura or a other demigods also or other living beings not only devotees himself he is he has that capacity and will power that he is praying to a demigod and the demigod is giving the benediction and the benediction is being fulfilled and krishna again to break that vow that to protect his devotees he is coming as an avatar so even shastra say that the to take birth in this material world even demigods are desperate because they want instant solution like we see that nowadays everything is instant everything is becoming instant so we feel that rather com- comparing ourselves to the previous yugas or with any other thing shastras are saying the better you focus on this yuga there is no use will be given but when you start comparing once so thank you all very much for giving me this opportunity vansha kalpatru vishya krupa sindhu vegucha padutanam pavanu vishnu vidyamanam anandapurushtha vindu